It's the longest standing rivalry in Conference USA. Two historic programs, Louisiana Tech and Western Kentucky, they collide in Diddle Arena. Hello and welcome, I'm Brian Klein with John Butler. Very happy to be with you and John. Part of what's made this rivalry so great, so historic over so many years, it's the players, it's the Hall of Famers that we've seen. And today there's a lot of star power as well. Kiana Walker, we'll start with her for Louisiana Tech. Conference USA Preseason Player of the Year. Yeah, averaging 17 points a game. She was first team Conference USA last year. Tremendous, tremendous guard that can score off the dribble. Also 40% from three-point line. Absolute menace, Kiana Walker. And Acacia Hayes, well, she's a younger version maybe a little bit. Conference USA Freshman of the Week and WKU relying heavily on her. Yeah, she's been in double figures uh, four straight times. Just two weeks ago, same place, she put 31 up against UTSA. Fantastic freshman. Now, one thing that is not pictured here on her stats is that she's the team's most efficient three-point shooter, and for Louisiana Tech, they've got to keep an eye on WKU's threes. Yeah, Western Kentucky is eighth in the country in terms of three-point attempts, and one of the reasons why Western Kentucky has won four straight is they're shooting the ball so much better. A big key tonight, can Louisiana Tech defend the three? Well, what about for WKU? What do they need to do? They need to force turnovers. Nine times this year, they forced over 20 a game. That's what a big, big uh, key tonight. Can Western Kentucky turn over a really good ball handling team in La Tech? Rick Collins says he sees Karis Allen more as a big guard than a smaller forward. Gives Odie Betancourt another chance. She's got 12. Oh, yeah. It's the Odie Betancourt show. Have a day. She's only averaging 6.9 minutes a game, not points. <laughs> she's averaging less than two points a game, only less than seven minutes a game, and then she's got 12 points. She scored four points the entire season at USF, and she climbs the ladder for another rebound. Hope Savori, nice feed to the baseline for Leah Pitts, and Pitts puts it up. Can't get it to go. Robertson on the baseline. Did she sit out of bounds? She did. And just great hustle by a lot by, by the Western Kentucky. So now Robertson has to sit. Remember, you can see that wrapping on her right hand. She's not 100%. It's her first game in a month, but Louisiana Tech is dying for the production they had from her before the injury. I'm sure her wind is not quite there, to be honest with you. Been out so long. I think she's done a good job first game back. It's handles by Karis Allen, and Hope Savoy was looking for Blevins. Blevins was fouled. Yeah, posting up Macy Blevins. Macy Blevins, a good-sized guard, 5'10", going to get the foul that time. It's going to be on uh, number 12, Gabby Green. It's Green's first foul. Gabby Green set out last year due to an injury. She started, she played three years at Pitt. Yeah. Well, that was a big get for Louisiana Tech out of the transfer portal. And when she had to sit, it was, uh, it, was it was a tough blow. And a lot of Lady Texture fans were thinking, well, if she was able to play, they probably would have walked away from last season with a ring. Odie Betancourt, the shot clock winding down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What planet is Odie Betancourt on, and how do I get there? Have a day. 14 points and playing with a smile on your face. And I don't blame you. This will put a smile on your face. Wow. Odie Betancourt cannot be stopped. Now it's Gabby Green and a silencer three. She's not scored her last two, two games, so that's a big bucket for Gabby Green. Another one for Odie Betancourt. There's the heat check. And Lee. Takes in the rebound for Louisiana Tech. Game's not over. It's 15. And La Tech is too good to lay down. So I, I've got a feeling La Tech's got one more run in them. Here's Lee. Shakes past Blevins. Drive and kick. Three ball on the TV. Rims it in. Louisiana Tech is four for their last five from the field. Down to 12, and that's a wide open shot, too. Another good pass by Lee. Here's Macy Blevins, guarded by Gabby Green. Blevins gets the screen, spins past the nail, and puts it up. A foul on the floor. Ball well, number 12, Gabby Green, the second. Team four. And Latek. Has gotten Walker, Walker back into the game. I think this is a kind of a 
critical period right now. It's 556. West Kentucky up 12 right here. Lytech starting to has had back to back threes. Western Kentucky needs to score to kind of stop that momentum. Keanu Walker has four fouls. One more and she's done. Odie Betancourt could not corral it in the post. Karis Allen revives the possession. Now it's Aaliyah Pitts. Back to Betancourt. Feed the beast. Fall away, Jay. No. And another loose ball. Aaliyah Pitts has it. Stops and pops. Pitts can't connect. And Gabby Green gets the rebound. Louisiana Tech settles it, and they dodge multiple bullets on that one trip. If Louisiana Tech comes back, it, it feels like it's got to be now. I think they're, they are on a, a little run right now. Yeah. Mini 6-0 spurt here over the past two minutes. WKU, though, they're getting ready to bring those starters back. And that's exactly what they'll do here. Starters are in. Josie Gilvin is the only non-starter on the floor right now. Pull a pass too hot to handle. A steal for WKU. Turnover number 16 for Louisiana Tech. And the starters are in with a 12-point cushion. Jalen Foster has 11 points. Gives the keys back to Meade. Shot clock down to eight. Back to Foster. Catch and shoot three. Way short. Rebound to Nativi. Western Kentucky got a little cold this quarter. Only eight points so far. Nice pass by Nativi and Worm finishes. It's an 8-0 run for Louisiana Tech, and they're only down by 10. I would not be surprised for a timeout coming soon. We've got a media timeout. I don't know if Coach Collins wants to save them. Uh, Meade, a big time three. That was a big one right there. A big, big three. She's been Lexi. working on that, that part of her game all season, 26%. She knows that she can shoot better. One and done for Louisiana Tech from beyond the arc. And here's a Casey Hayes. Uses the screen, switch to Walker. Hayes drives inside, her layup does not go, even though she got a step on Walker, and now a foul, Lexi Meade is the culprit. It's her second, team's third, and we'll take a timeout. Louisiana Tech down by 13, they need to make a move, and it's gotta be on the other side, here on ESPN Plus. Avery Cross, far sideline, she inbounds. Gets it into Arike, left wing, ball fake, baseline drive, picks up her dribble, eight seconds left, kick out up top, reset Boyd. She pulls up for a long two, and Boyd raises the front rim. Lexi Meade's got the rebound, WKU ball, 2.5 seconds left, and Meade is fouled. UNT Balder down by three, 5.15 remaining in regulation. It's Hardaway with a lefty dribble. Right by the timeline, Lexi Meade is defending her. Pass high, post intercepted. Here's Acacia Hayes in transition. No look pass, over to Meade. Oh, another no look pass for a cutter. Karis Allen layup, timeout on the floor. WKU up by five, midway through the fourth quarter. 